for you tonight, so don't go away. We'll be right back. There is much sand in the desert of life. Across this desert of eternal sand, a man walks alone. Why does this man walk alone? He walks alone because, to tell you the truth, he is lonely. <laughs> Who is this man? He is a man trained in the Eastern arts of self-defense and the Oriental philosophy of smartness. <laughs> there is no malice in his heart. He hates no man but one. The man who stole his shoes. <laughs> who is this man? He is... Young Fool. moving into the neighborhood and I don't like it. Who's moving into the neighborhood? Your foreigners, meathead. Your people from your Lithuania and your, and your Latvia and your Dodge City. Don't yeah. oh, you guys know nothing? Get out of here. Go over there and think about it. Come on, both of you. Hey, Black Archie. How come an unprejudiced woman like me has to be in love with a bigoted killer like you? I guess it must be because I got a heart of gold. Rosie, in the West, any woman who runs a saloon's got a heart of gold. Yeah, well, with them, it's phony. Mine's for real. <laughs> well, you're sure keeping it in a great-looking vault. <laughs> uh -huh, it's very funny, Archie. I happen to be very tired. You keep killing off all my help. Look at me. I'm the bartender and the floor scrubber, the dishwasher, and the men's room attendant. Now, the employment agency is sending somebody over, and you better lay off. All right, all right. As long as they ain't a member of one of your ethical minority groups. And that goes double for engines. <laughs> must be the proprietress. I signed a form with the agency they sent me over here, and I've been traveling for... How? <laughs> You're one of those, huh? All right, how? <clears throat> agency, send me. I travel many moons in search of job in saloon. <laughs> My mother is red antelope. My father is running fox. I am called Red Fox. <laughs> See, it was, it was, I filled out these forms at the unemployment what, form. Uh, hmm? What experience you have? All right. <clears throat> when Red Fox was young squaw, great white father send Red Fox east to school called a college. There I majored in abnormal psychology and business finance, you see. So I have come here in search of... How? Listen, don't let on you're an Indian. He'll kill you. Who? I... Oh. <clears throat> well, hello, docs. <laughs> Long live the queen, supercalifragilistic, expialidocious, and the ever-popular Trevor Howard. <laughs> Off the tea with Mary Poppins. Wait a minute. Leave him alone. Archie, she probably needs the job. Oh, really? I do need the position. I... Well, you see, many moons ago, I was fired from my last job. I was topless rain dancer. <laughs> Why were you fired? Three reasons. One, I did not make rain. <laughs> You are from an underdeveloped tribe. You're hired, honey. Thank you, lady with heart of gold. <laughs> what is my first job? Take these towels into the men's room and hand them out. Not bad. <laughs> Hold on it. Oh. You ain't bad looking for an engine. Give me a kiss, you skinny little chippy. That's Chippewa. <laughs> Dog by 
my spotting pearls of wisdom. If you are that man, drop them pearls. <laughs> howdy, howdy, howdy. You are not that man. Help, help, help. Who are you, yellow stranger? Go all in <laughs> I said, who are you? Golly G, that's my name. You are Golly G? Well, howdy, howdy, howdy. You are the man who runs around saving people. <laughs> what is Chrome Dome ain't gonna save anybody? She don't even carry a gun. <laughs> Tell me, Golly G, why don't you carry a gun? Weapons of death speak death. But a soft word sings like the naked butterfly on wet petunia. <laughs> you speak with tongue of ding-a-ling. I speak wisdom of these. Oh, are you from Jersey? No, I'm from China. China? If he finds out you're from China, he'll beat the living wisdom out of you. I shun violence as the heron shuns the blueberry patch. I think only to quench my thirst. Can I have a sarsaparilla? You broke her business. Well, I didn't mean to. I'm just cursed with this incredible strength. It all happened so many years ago. On the hand, the number of fingers is five, yet the hand is one. Which is stronger, the one hand with five fingers or the five fingers with one hand? What'd I say? <laughs> On the fingers, one. Ah, my student comes. I will pose my questions of him. Hello, master. Fill my empty brain with knowledge. <laughs> that will take forever, but I will try. Good, good, good. <laughs> Snatch this pebble from my hand. Try again. I can. What have you learned, my son? That a man with a pebble in his hand is wiser than a man with rocks in his head. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now for the oriental board trick. My son, which is stronger, your hand or this genuine four by four mahogany board? The board? Test your theory, my son. Smash your hand against the board. <laughs> Broken. Every bone in your hand. <laughs> Are you in pain, my son? No. That is because there is no air in the windmills of your mind. <laughs> Well, thank you, Master. Will my hand heal? Yes. Your hand will mend. And like the broken wing of a bird, will become stronger for its having been broken. And we will break your hand again and again. And every time we break it, it will become stronger. Of course, that's only a theory. <laughs> but the man that can bear, the man that can bear hurt is more to be respected than the fool who sleeps in coleslaw. <laughs> Slept in coleslaw, Master? Masters do not sleep inside dishes. <laughs> now, for oriental trick of endurance, very important test. Good, good, good. <laughs> now, this kettle is very hot. It has been sizzling over a flame for three days. Now take both your hands and place them on either side of the kettle while I count to five. What will I learn? Probably nothing. <laughs> that sounds fair. One, two, three, four, four and a half, five. I did it. Why? <laughs> well, you told me to. If I told you to jump off the Empire State Building, would you do that? No. Then you've learned a valuable lesson, my son. Oh, well, goody, what to learn? You have learned that the locust can make peace with the cauliflower. <laughs> now, here's a knife. 
Go out and invent Harry Carey. <laughs> TV Land presents the questions Carol never answered. Tell me, young student, is not the meeting of four lips more to be desired than an elbow resting in hot lentil soup? <laughs> yes, but will you still respect me afterward? Yes, I will, I will. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> I'm, I'm an old man who lives alone in a garden. <laughs> What am I supposed to do for diversion? Kiss a lychee tree? <laughs> As you remember, my young student, Ga Li Ji, was in the Old West, where he was about to receive <laughs> great pain. All right, say your prayers, you cut-rate Confucius. What are you going to do to him? We're going to shoot the Chinese dead. <gasps> realize what you're doing if you kill these two young kids you're killing the spirit of america you and me archie it's too late for galoots like us but the spirit in this country lies with these two young kids a topless rain dancer and a china person with a terminal haircut please give them a chance archie after all America is the one country where all groups can live together in harmony. Where a farmer can be friends with a rancher. Where a redman can be friends with a white man. Where a balloon at night can meet the goal in a day. That's what this country is all about. Please listen to me, Archie. I'm talking from here. In the name of my people, I call you Talking Bull. <laughs> okay, Rosie, you moved me. I'm gonna give them until sundown to get out of town. Sundown is in four minutes. <laughs> All right, you guys, let's get out of here. Come on, move, 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 pitch. Hey, Charlie, four minutes to live. What a nice man. <laughs> Back way up, through the ladies' room. Oh, no, 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 I couldn't go through there. Nothing quick, you'll escape, Red Bull. Oh, if he stays, I stay. Oh, hey, you ain't falling for this big lug, are you? I already have, I love him. Oh, but think of the consequences. A red woman marrying a yellow man. You'll have an orange kid. <laughs> we'll call him Julius. <laughs> Two minutes to sundown. Wait, you two only have one chance to escape. The sundown stage leaves in exactly two minutes. Now, here's the fair. Hurry. No, 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 no. I couldn't take money. Oh, why not? Because a Chinaman and his money are soon parted. Golly, we only have two minutes. There's no time now for a flashback. <laughs> After all, what is money? It is nothing compared to the eternal values of life, beauty, truth, wisdom, love, and outdoor furniture. <laughs> Any questions, young student? Don't one need riches to survive in this world? No, my son. <laughs> you do not read riches to listen to the birds sing or to drink the clear water from the babbling brook. There is only one time you will need money. When's that? If you ever have to leave town on the sundown stage. <laughs> I don't have to do this for a living, you know. I've got the handball concession on the Great Wall of China. <laughs> I won't take the money. Let's go, Red Fox. No minutes. Where do you think you're going? He's going to the ladies' room. Well, you better hurry up, because in a minute, you're going to wonder where the yellow went. <laughs> shoot your brains out i want you to know i love you love you know i think i studied that once in summer school what is love 
Oh, oh no, no, not, not again. again. <laughs> love. Love, as the Chinese say, means never having to say you're sorry. <laughs> I brought a friend. Where am I? You're in my flashback. Since we may be in love, I thought we'd seek counsel from the man who taught me everything I know. Oh. <laughs> really, he's, he's really a wise man. Ask him a question. All right. Tell me, wise man, who can make the sun rise? The candy man can. <laughs> You're lucky you have a wise man in the top 40. Master. I fall in love, but I'm puzzled. I don't know if this is the right girl for me. It is easy to find out. We will give her the purity test. Oh, good, good, good. <laughs> <laughs> Young maiden, if you can cross this bridge without falling in, you are pure. If you fall in, <laughs> No problem for you. <laughs> Master, the pool's deep. Why is she only wet up to the knees? I never went all the way. <laughs> Well, of course not. The last six girls I brought here drowned. <laughs> Go, my children. You shall have a long, happy life together. And Custer will be victorious. And Hubert Humphrey will someday become president. And it don't rain in Indianapolis in the summertime. <laughs> One last time, golly gee, aren't you going to fight for your life? I do not believe in violence. But you can fight for our love now. Well, in that case, I'll fight, but non-violently. Non-violently? And in slow motion. <laughs> and sour cream. Well, all right, you beat up the master. I'm sorry, but it was the only way I could get the ring. Don't apologize. I'm kind of glad you did it. All them years he was insulting me, playing tricks on me, making me look like a fool in them tests. He was just awful. Now I'm rid of him forever. 
I'm going to be married to the sweetest, loveliest Indian maiden in the whole wide world. Can I have the ring? I'll put it on your finger. Snatch this ring from my hand. <laughs> okay. And do you know why? That is because there is no air in the windmills of your mind. <laughs> Things are going to be different once we get married, Chrome Dome. You're going to wear shoes and we're going to get you a decent tooth. Now get moving. <laughs>